Hey guys, this is Lucy coming at you with a new Foundation Friday. I don't think I've done one in the month of April or May yet. Hmm, did I do one in April? I don't know, let me see. I always do a Foundation Friday because I keep buying foundations and I like sharing my thoughts with y'all. I know I'm kind of slow with the upload game, but you know, it is what it is. I can only do so much when I get a chance and my last foundation Friday was like, let's see, I think April. So I'm back with a new one. Yeah, it was April sometime. I am gonna do the NYX Can't Won't Stop Found Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in the color Deep Sable. This foundation isn't new on the market. I purchased this a few months ago. Let me get some details on it. Try this again. Hey guys, it's Lisa back at you with a new Foundation Friday. This Friday, I am gonna try out the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in the shade Deep Sable, which is this one right here. This foundation is not new to the market. I purchased this a few months ago and I'm just getting around to using it. And along with it, I am gonna try out the can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade golden honey to highlight some deets on the foundation is that it is a 24 hour wear foundation there is from the fairest of foundations to the darkest there's 45 shades um it's a liquid formula that doesn't transfer with the 24 hour wear. It's a shine control mattifying foundation. It's great for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types. Mm, yeah. So I'm gonna give this bad boy a try. So I haven't tried it yet, seeing so I haven't opened it along with the concealer. For the primer I'm gonna use today, it's gonna be the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. If you see, I have a lot of texture and all y'all i don't eat chocolate like that and i swear to you every time i eat chocolate in general i break out i went to my co-workers birthdays at the end of april and i had a little bit of chocolate cake with them and honestly i've been dealing with a massive breakouts here that's why i've been doing the most videos just because it's been really irritating on the skin and i'm cute so i'm just gonna rub it between my fingers i'm gonna put it more in my t-zone area I'm gonna get a little bit more. I hope y'all are having a great week. The weekend is here. Any big plans? I think I'm just working like always, just working. But yeah, how y'all been? Are you guys excited for summer? Summer's just around the corner. Life is good. Today's a hot, hot day, which is amazing. Because, you know, I'm over the winter. Like, we had a snowstorm in April that lasted fully a day. Now I'm going to go in with... I'm not going to color correct because usually for my foundation Fridays, I don't color correct. So I'm not going to change that whole aspect. Let me find a foundation brush that I want to use. I'm going to use the more Oh, the Mikasa F310. It's like a flat top domed brush. I'm going to use that for the foundation today. I'm going to give it a quick shake. It says shake well, so I'm going to shake this bad boy up. I put about one and a half pumps on my brush. And I like to dab it on first before I start blending it out. The color is pretty okay. 
It's a little dark. I think it'll be better like for summer for me. I'm gonna go in with a second pump. This is a third pump this time. It's good coverage. I think I like it. I don't know how I feel about the color. Mm. I think it has a little more of an olive undertone because it looks kind of greenish when I put it on. All right, but the next shade down is a little too light. y'all think you still can see my imperfections but y'all know Shalice is not about that for cake life okay I'm gonna go in the concealer I should have opened this before I started this video Applicator looks like I know y'all seen this before. It's a nice slanted doe foot foot. Just gonna highlight my typical areas. It doesn't have a scent, which is nice. Gonna go in with my Smashbox Blur and Concealer Brush. Just like that. I do like the concealer because it's a really nice brightening effect, not too overpowering. I'm just going to go over it with my brush that I use for my foundation just to make sure there's no lines of demar demarcation between the two. Like so. Am I going to contour today? Maybe if I knew what it was. But maybe not. I never know anything is what I need it, guys. That's the reality of my life. I'm always a mess. Okay, no cream contouring today because I don't know where it is. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna set under my eye with my Laura Mercy translucent powder. I really like this powder. It's really great at keeping everything looking nice and matte throughout the day. I'm going to get in with my Morphe M510 to add a nice light dusting of powder on my highlighted areas.
like so. And then I'm going to use my my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Deep to set the rest of my face. Where's my I'm just going to go in with my Smashbox Sheer Powder Brush. So that's what it looks like once it's all set. I am going to... Contour... A little bit with my Too Faced Chocolate Soap Filet Matte Bronzing Powder. This bad boy right here. I'm going to take it with my Sephora Pro Collection Contour Number 74 brush. I'm going to take a little dusting up just to give me a little... That means I need to be getting up, finishing up so I can go to work. Because, you know... I always tell you in my videos, I always do these videos before work, and I honestly swear I'm always late. So I'm just gonna contour it a bit to bring back some definition to my face. Nothing too heavy because I wanna keep my rest of my face light. Just like that. So once I finish the rest of my face, I will be back to show you what it looks like before I head off to work. In so I'm back after I finished my face. It is now 3.06 p.m. and I'm heading to work. I'm working like a 4 to midnight. So it's going to be a long night. So what the foundation looks like. I did set it with the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. If you're curious, I'm wearing the Bremo London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Heartbeat. Fabulous, right? And then I did use my Smashbox Spotlight Palette, the gold one. And I used the color Turn It Gold on my cheekbones. Yeah, so that's the face. This is what it's going to be. Hopefully I can do an updated wear test while I'm at work tonight. We'll see how busy it is. I'll probably do that on my cell phone. And hopefully I can get some good lighting. I'm going to show you how it's wearing. It is looking pretty nice right now. You know what? I always never set right here. Let me set there real quick because that's where I get the oiliest by the end of the night, which is okay. I don't mind. Makes it look like you alive. Put a little setting powder right there. Just using the Lord Mercy Translucent. But hopefully, I will come at you guys with a update before the end of the night. So I will come home and do an end of the night update once I've hit my, it's going to be, by the time I get home, I'll be wearing it for like 10 hours maybe, hit or miss. But yeah, I'll come back then to let you know how it's going. So this is what it looks like. Tell me what you think of this foundation in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the color match. I think it's actually pretty, pretty decent, you know, because I am a little yellow because I'm always yellow because I don't see no sun, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the update real soon. Bye, y'all. Hey, guys. I'm back. I'm at work, chilling in my break room, so the lighting is not pristine, but, you know, I thought I'd come in the little update. It's wearing pretty well, as you can see. I'm filming this on my iPhone. It is the 7 Plus. Mm, so hopefully the quality's not bad. A little shiny in my T-zone area. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. I haven't touched up. I haven't blotted because y'all know homegirl is lazy. But yeah, it's wearing up pretty well. I think I'm liking it. I haven't had any under eye creasing. But really and truly, I don't have that many fine lines. Except that one. And that one to worry about. But yeah, I will be back at the end of the night when I get home. If you want to know, I've been wearing this foundation since 3 a.m o'clock it is now 9 48 so it's almost seven hours and 
I think is doing real good. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. And the lip color is wearing really well too. I've only touched up once. That was after I was eating. Super comfortable. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's Felicia. It is now the end of the night. It is 12.42 in the morning. And I just got home. And I think it held up pretty well. As you can see in here, I got some sheen shine, which isn't that bad. I probably could have used more primer in that area because like on my forehead, I'm pretty still mad. Same with my cheeks, you can see my highlight though. But yeah, it wore up really well. There was no transfer throughout the day. I feel like the color matches me pretty well. Like I'm pretty yellow though, right? This is definitely going to be a foundation that is in my current rotation under my eyes with like the concealer there it's still looking really bright and matte nothing too wrong going there um let's see let me just find a mirror that i can hold to my face and okay i'm a mess i'm a mess let me find a mirror Whew. it's late i just finished work and whatnot yeah looking close up I think it held up really well. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much breakdown of the product anywhere in my face. Yeah, my under eye can see it's looking really matte still, which is lovely because now I get really oily up under there anyways. But yeah, this is what the foundation looks like after, say, nine and a half hours, almost ten hours of wear. I think it held up really good. Let me know what you think down in the comments below on how the foundation looks by the end of the night. Um, if you've tried this foundation, I would love to hear your opinions on it, along with the concealer. If you like these kind of videos, definitely thumbs it up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you have, I really appreciate it. Definitely let me know in a comment up below, or there should be a poll right here, if for my next Foundation Friday, I should do the Chanel Le Tint Ultra Ton. It's the ultra wear flawless foundation it looks like so it's a really nice foundation i had a sample of it and yeah that's that or i could do another drugstore one which would be the next total drop cons Next Total Drop Foundation, or I could even do the new CoverGirl one, well, the newer CoverGirl one. I think it's not new, so it's like, whatever. But yeah, leave a comment down below or hit the poll, that'd be cool. Interact with me that way, and I'll definitely see you guys in another video real soon. Follow me on all my social media, because I'm trying to post them more often, to be a better social media kind of guru, viber, I don't know, influencer, something like that. But yeah, until the next video, guys. Have an amazing week, weekend, and wherever you're watching this. Bye, y'all.